Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man. You guys know the deal on this channel. It's all about setting the record straight, stopping the lies, stopping the narratives, stopping them from rewriting history, guys. And in this video, once again, man, we're going to talk about this guy, James Harden, this clown. This fool, James Frauden, who again is having one of these historic seasons, the James Harden historic, out there shooting like 36% from the field, like 20-something percent from the three-point line, five and a half turnovers a game. We're going to talk about this video, man, because this is what I'm talking to you guys about with James Harden, man, and the fraudulent career that he's had. And they keep trying to tell me, these James Harden fans, I don't know whose fans these are. James Harden's a top five shooting guard all the time. I see people saying that. Oh, James Harden's the third greatest shooting guard. I've heard people say that kind of stuff. This guy's a clown, man. He's been exposed. No leadership, no heart, no hustle, nothing out there on the court on the defensive end. And he's been exposed once again. Remember, he told us he was coming into the best shape of his life this season. Let me talk briefly about his video. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world. Everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. Once again, guys, I am truly, truly humbled by all support, man. It means a lot, guys, for real. Shout out to everybody in the membership, man. Like I said, guys, for you guys to donate to my channel. Uh, like I said, all the support, guys, is truly humbling, man. You guys emailing me. Like I said, the, the comments you guys leave, man, thank you very much, guys. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. <clears throat> and let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, I want to talk about that clown James Harden for a couple of minutes real briefly, man. Because, once again, hey, James Harden is having a historic season uh, as it relates to James Harden. You know, historic for James Harden. Out there shooting 30-some percent, like 36% from the field. Like I said, like 26% from three-point range. Five and a half turnovers a game. And a, a lot of times, you know, people get wrapped up in the numbers. And we talk about on this channel, the numbers in this era mean literally nothing, guys. These fraudulent numbers that these guys put up, they're inflated. The stats are completely inflated. They don't always necessarily tell you the whole story because a lot of these guys put up numbers on mediocre teams. Or once again, they're putting on putting up stats and it's not impacting the wins. So, for example, we think about someone like James Harden and you look at the numbers that he puts up over his career and you would be like, oh, James Harden, this guy's amazing. And that's what I'm telling you guys. Oh, James Harden's a top five shooting guard all the time. He's top three shooting guard. He does this. He could do that. It's all inflated. James Harden's actual on-court game, when you watch the on-court game, that's not translating into any other era except for this weak, soft, non-physical, freedom of movement era. This is where James Harden looks like he can play basketball. But you put James Harden in the 80s, you put that dude in the 90s, you put him in the early 2000s, you put him in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s, James Harden is not doing this stuff. They're going to be calling him for carries and traveling violations. Left and right, the standard was much different. It was a greater standard. They've lowered the standard for someone like a James Harden to make him appear like he's so great and fantastic. Oh, he could dribble the ball and he's always moves. He has these moves in this era in the manipulation of the rules. In other eras, he can't do that. You're not going to get away with that stuff. They're calling Michael Jordan for travel. I saw Michael Jordan get called for three travels in one game. In one game. You think James Harden's going to be able to do all these crazy nonsensical step backs and palm the ball like this? And you won't be able to do that. This is what goes to negating a lot of these guys and their ability, their skills, their quote-unquote skills of this era. The physical defense, the clogging of the paint, the way the game was officiated, it would negate a lot of these guys' skills, right? Also, once again, James Harden's not a great athlete. He does not keep himself in shape. So he would struggle athletically in these eras. So when we think about James Harden, man, and you look at the numbers he puts up and you read off his stats, he's averaging, what, like 21 points a game, whatever it is, 22 points a game, 10 assists, 8 rebounds. You're like, whoa, this guy's putting up damn near a triple-double. What could you be arguing or mad about with James Harden? What else can he do? And that's why I say these numbers don't tell you the story. James Harden could put up numbers. The stats might, like, look on the surface. It doesn't impact winning. At the end of these games, James Harden folds up. So James Harden is going to be doing his game, chucking his shots up. But at the end of the game, he's never going to be there for you. And as you see with James Harden, he's very inconsistent. One game, he might shoot 55% from the field. 
But then the next four games, he's going to shoot 35% from the field. I told you right now, he's in the 30s for a field goal and in the 20s from the three. And someone like James Harden doesn't care what his percentages are. He don't care about taking good shots. He's a shot chucker extraordinaire. See, this is the difference between a great scorer and a volume shooter. Someone like Michael Jordan, Adrian Dantley, Alex English, George Gervin, Jerry West. These guys who are great scorers, they were also efficient scorers. Because more often than not, they took quality shots. Quality shots. They had spots on the court that they got to. They took good looks. James Harden don't take good shots. He chucks up shots from all over the place. Nonsensical shots. And he'll just keep shooting. There's no conscience with him. And he's not a guy that you know you have faith at the end of games. He's the complete opposite, James Harden. He never comes through when you need him most. And remember, James Harden came into the season saying he's in the greatest shape that he's been in ever. Does James Harden look like he's in the greatest shape ever? And once again, his shape is relative for him. James Harden being in the greatest shape for him ain't saying much because he ain't never been in shape. These guys are professional athletes. You would think that they're going to always be in shape. They play basketball for a living, but they don't. They're not in shape, guys. They don't take care of themselves. They don't train. They don't exercise. They don't ever eat right. They don't eat healthy. So once again, that in impacts your overall health, your fitness level. James Harden going into strip clubs, staying up late at night, eating bad food, drinking alcohol. This ain't helping you. James Harden's not an athletic freak like that to get away with this stuff. Look at him. And he don't have the heart, the grit, the mental fortitude of guys back in the day, of the great athletes, the great professionals. James Harden's not a professional. He's the opposite of a professional. He's all about himself. The dude really thinks he's cool. He thinks he got swag. But I laugh. These guys pay for women, but they think that they're cool? How cool are you when you got to pay for women? You're essentially renting women? Going to strip clubs? Who does this stuff, man? These professional athletes today. James Harden. No, no leadership from James Harden. Out there on the Clippers, getting all this money, not doing a damn thing. We're going to talk that talk. I'm the system, James Harden. James Harden is the system. The system that's never won a championship, that's never even made to an NBA Finals, James Harden. He's never led a team to the Finals. Don't talk to him about his time on OKC. He's never led a team to the Finals. Not once. Even though he's played with all kinds of talent, the dude is always a choker. Extraordinaire. When it matters most, he's not there. That's James Harden. But these fools out here talking about James Harden's a top five shooting guard. He's a top three shooting guard all time. I told you, James Harden's not even a top 10 shooting guard all time. Not even top 10, man. Not put him above Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant, obviously. Not put him above anywhere near Jerry West. Um, not put him above Dwayne Wade or Clyde Drexler or an Allen Iverson. Not put him above these guys. I'm not putting him above Ray Allen. I won't put him above Reggie Miller. I mean, how many guys is that right there? Seven, eight? I don't know. I'm not putting him above George Gervin. I'm not putting him above Tracy McGrady. I want to put him above any of those guys. How about Sam Jones? Would I put him above Sam Jones? I mean, listen, people underestimate some of the shooting guards in the NBA's history. They don't know the history of the game. They don't respect these guys, right? So they're all oh, James Harden. He's a top three, top five shooting guard. No, he's not. What does James Harden do other than shoot the ball? He literally does nothing else. He don't rebound. I told you his rebound numbers are inflated in this week era. He ain't getting no offensive rebounds. He don't rebound like Clyde Drexler. He don't rebound like Michael Jordan. He don't rebound like Kobe Bryant. I mean, what are we talking about here? He don't play defense like Jerry West or Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant or Dwayne Wade. He don't play defense like them dudes. He don't even play defense like Reggie Miller. He don't shoot like Michael Jordan or Jerry West or Kobe Bryant or Reggie Miller. Or Ray Allen. He's not a big time performer like a Michael Jordan or a Kobe Bryant, a Jerry West, a Sam Jones. He ain't clutch like a Reggie Miller. 
He don't these guys level like that. So once again, what did James Harden do? What are you going to tell me? His playmaking ability? His playmaking? All the turnovers that he, he, he gives up? So his playmaking ain't that great. He's a one-to-one -one turnover ratio. The man is averaging 10 assists per game this year and five and a half turnovers per game. So what are we talking about here? For every pass that he makes, he turns the ball over. Come on, man. Two assists, one turnover. That's James Harden. That's not impressive. And once again, the turnovers are only are, are not even being uh, fully counted. All the travels, the carrying he does, those are turnovers. They don't count them, though. So essentially, James Hall is probably averaging seven turnovers a game, but they don't include the travels and the carries in this, in this era of NBA. They don't count this stuff. They don't call it. And that's why these guys would get exposed in other eras. James Hall is not a winner. He's a loser. He don't play no de defense. He hasn't played defense ever in his career. He's a shot chuck extraordinaire. No hustle out there from James Harden. No leadership. He's not a true competitor. James Harden, let me know when he plays 82 games. If he plays 82 games this year, let me know when James Harden can make an all-defensive team just one time in his career. Let me know if he can lead a team to the promised land. Just make it to the finals. Can't do it. He's in the best shape of his life, he'll tell us. Still ain't hustling, though. Still can't run and play defense. You guys know the deal, man. These are the facts. James Harden is nowhere near a top three, top five shooting guard. I told you, I would not even put him top 10 all time. But think about this. James Harden is the greatest shooting guard of his era. Think about that. He's the greatest shooting guard of this era, of the previous 2010s era. That was James Harden. He won an MVP in the 2010s. He ain't sniffing an MVP in the 90s or the 80s, the early 2000s. He's winning an MVP over Allen Iverson or Tim Duncan or Shaquille O'Neal or Kobe Bryant or a Steve Nash or Kevin Garnett or Dirk Nowitzki. He's winning MVPs over Michael Jordan or Charles Barkley or David Robinson or Karl Malone or Hakeem Olajuwon. He's winning MVPs over Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Moses Malone, Michael Jordan, Dr. J in the 80s. He's winning MVPs over Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Dr. J in the 70s. John Havlicek, and some of these other great players. <laughs> That's laughable, man. And we all know he ain't winning no MVPs over Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, Jerry West, Oscar Robertson in the 60s. Elgin Baylor. <laughs> it's, it's laughable, guys. You guys know the deal, man. James Harden out there shooting 30% from the field, 20% from the three, five and a half turnovers a game. No leadership, no defense. This is James Harden, guys. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.